Inside Science TV. It's the smallest bird on the planet, and no animal has a faster metabolism, roughly 100 times that of an elephant. When they're flying, they beat their wings 200 times a second. Their heart can beat up to 20 times a second. And when they're feeding, they can stick their tongue, tongues out 17 times a second. To keep their speedy pace, a hummingbird's main fuel and food for survival is sugar. The main source of their energy is from carbohydrates in nectar. But here's the thing that stumped scientists like Maud Baldwin at Harvard University for years. She knows hummingbirds have a taste for sweets, but they shouldn't because like other birds, they lack sweet taste receptors on their tongues. So in theory, they shouldn't be tempted by sugary tastes. We wanted to see if hummingbirds actually taste sugar or if they were just attracted to the, the calories in the, in the nectar, if it was like they were getting like a sugar high. In an experiment, researchers put out bird feeders. One feeder contained plain water, and other feeders contained water with different artificial sweeteners. Researchers then watched the birds' reactions to each feeder. We used high-speed cameras to figure out how quickly they could discriminate between water and sugar. The birds quickly rejected the plain water and all other artificial sweeteners, except one that's used as sweetener in toothpaste. But how did the birds even taste it if they have no sweet receptors? They use instead their savory receptor. Scientists know the tongue can detect five different kinds of tastes. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and savory, or umami. At some point in the bird's evolution, a taste receptor transformed from one that's normally used to detect umami flavors into one that's used to taste sweets instead. Hummingbirds had to re-evolve a new way to taste the, the carbohydrates or the sugars in the nectar. The sweet mystery solved. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.